Oh. Yeah. You got that right, it is, honey child. <laughs> <laughs> Recording in progress. It's the whole vibe. Yeah, me. <laughs> I don't get dressed for nothing. I'll tell you that much. I'm good. <laughs> I don't get dressed for nothing either. That's why my camera ain't on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. That was perfect. Yo, Hello. so look, even even if that's not true, that was perfect timing. I love it. Please for me. Oh, man. That was a great 70s interlude right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. All right, so listen up, y'all. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tapping in. Thank you for making some time. We ain't going to hold you all night, even though we're going to spit million dollars worth of game right now. We have some, like, uh, uh, the topic that we have offhand tonight is um, how to fire your job, right? Ooh. So, you know, right. we're going to get into some gangster stuff right now, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, instead of people you know, taking, you know, feel like it's more powerful for us to be able to let things go that don't serve us and create what we want yeah. versus be a victim, right? Just to be victimized and be like, why are you doing this? So tonight we're going to tap into financially the concept of that because most of us have never actually thought like that. How do I free myself? Or how mm -hmm. do I? So before we get into that, we're going to get into some uh, gratitude, get into some gratitude and what we're thankful for. So for me, I would just say, um, like, first off, I'm thankful for, hmm, I mean, I'm thankful for my network, man, because like in these times, I feel like a lot of my relationships are, no, all of, every last one of my relationships is being tested. Every last Ooh. one. So in it being tested, um, I'm learning like where the abundance is and where the connections are and where the prosperity is. And then I'm learning mm. where it's absolutely not. And I have to be <laughs> like, yo, I gotta stop. It's not on them, it's on me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's like, like, you know, I could, you know, it's like, I could be a million places right now, but like choosing to come home and tap in and to like, get into some learning about something that can transform my life. Like, I'm thankful that I can do that, period. Point blank, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Strong day, strong day. All right, uh, all right, who who next? Who next, who rocking? I'll, I'll say something, I think. Mm -hmm. I, the whole time Meds was talking, all I could think about was how grateful I am for my mornings. Mm. My mornings are always filled with so much production. Mm. You know, like there's a certain number of things that I've committed to doing for the past going off six months now. Shit, no, where we at? A minute, <clears throat> half a year, more than half a year, that's six months. Anyway, um, that really set my day off properly that I didn't even appreciate, I didn't even really believe that that was a thing at one point. I would just get up and do whatever I felt like doing. You know what I'm saying? Rather mm. than doing what I needed to do to to be on point to, you know, do anything else with my day. And the fact that I can, you know, because everybody has what they got going on that I don't, you know, I don't have that going on. I don't have nobody blowing me up. I don't have a bunch of kids running around. I don't have... And so it's like, I can literally do what I want and I've chosen to be more disciplined on the path to where I need to be. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And it's been, it's been doing what it's supposed to do. Dope. You know? It's like Dope. a... And then it's like, there's the discipline of like watching the phone ring and realizing, no, this is me time. I'll call them back. Mm. Or, you know, just stuff like that. Like, yeah, it's a good time in the morning. And I had a good one this morning, so I'm grateful for that. Oh, yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yo, organized. Yo, D, you always come in with the super esoteric joints. Like, everybody, <laughs> everybody be like, everybody be like, oh, man, I'm so grateful for my children, and I'm, I'm grateful for my job. And then the D will be coming through like, yo, I'm grateful for Cheetos, B, because they mad. They mad. They mad cheesy. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
Like <laughs> that's very appreciated. Worry about them. That's that's a big thing, right? There. And look, she's always sounding like Andre 3000 at the social media. Oh, my God. So I want to thank God, because without God, we wouldn't be here. But for real, though, it's like a lot of y'all, man, a lot of y'all, y'all don't y'all don't understand party mix. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> y'all don't really understand a party mix. Y'all be sleeping on this. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop. Your snacks got something to say. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy. That's all I got to say. Right on, right on, B. Oh, yeah, man. So silly. Mama Brands, what's, Hi, <laughs> what's good, man? Hi. Yo. Well, first off, I want to say that I'm grateful just hearing your message about discipline in the morning because I am so struggling with that. Girl, and I, I was do, too. And yes, I know I how important it is to set your day up. You know, yeah. from the very beginning, because it kind of just, you know, it just, it just set it off and, yeah. you know, you start off right, you end up right, you know, yeah. so mm. that's what I'm setting off. So I'm really grateful to hear that reminder yeah. today and I need to get on my, on my A game again. Um, you gotta but, make it fun, but go ahead. I'm like, yeah. And I think right now, I don't know why I want to say this, but I'm just grateful to be surviving the storm. You mm. know, <laughs> I'm just grateful to be surviving and like, you know, staying calm, staying chill and, you know, just keeping my, my own peace and calmness and not letting everything, you know, like affects me. Mm -hmm. um, I, Lamar said, uh, Lamar said, uh, he said, I'm ducking the pandemic. Like, you know, mm -hmm. like you really got to duck this shit because there's like yeah. so much going on, you know, but um, mm -hmm. yeah, so that's what I'm thankful for. I'm just thankful to be, you know, surviving this storm right now. Right so, on. Hey, come on, man. That's a big, it's a big move right there. Yo, uh, on the line right now, we got Sister Maia, uh, the, Hallelujah. The, the, the woman, the woman who uh, found Soul For Real when they were home. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we are nothing. Why are you trying to tell the business like that? <laughs> and, and, and she also was with George Washington Carver when he discovered the peanut. Oh, like, oh, did Lord. you know that's a peanut? <laughs> <laughs> True sure indeed. Yeah, Come right. on. The one and the only. <laughs> Come on with the mud cloth backdrop. I'm loving it. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Come yeah. on. Sister Mock. Can we get some gratitude? Sister, what's good? Thank you. Thank you all. Good evening. Yes, uh, yes. I, I came in and the sister was saying that she's um happy to be avoiding the pandemic, if mm. I heard you correctly. Mm, ducking it. Ducking, ducking. ducking it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I hear you. I just, I literally just got in from, um, we took my niece to dinner for her birthday and we went all the way out to Long Island to eat inside the restaurant because, you know, in Brooklyn, you can't do that. Mm. Wow. Mm. Right. Yeah. Mm. Wow. But we had a good time, though. I hear that. Yeah, she had a good time, so... You know, huh. but um, I'm grateful that my ancestors and my Egun and my folks are keeping me safe and mm. sane. Mm. And they, they, they moving things in a way that only they can. Mm. And making That's things right. happen. That's sure. So I'm just, you know, being grateful. I'm being still. I'm just letting them do what they do. And I'm being obedient and following through on what I have to do. Ooh. Come on. That's, 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 yeah, that's, that's where we at right there. All right. That's the hard part. But you know what? Um, the lesson for this year has been just go with the flow and I'm going mm. with the flow. Sure indeed. Go with the flow. So you will never be forsaken, B. Never. All day. No. Absolutely. So you know, doing my readings, doing my, my, my making my stuff and just, you know, doing what I got to do to help my folks. Sure, indeed. Jame, did you, did you smell the spray? Oh, absolutely. Yes. Changed my life, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> yo, for real. Like, like, yo, like I sniffed it one time and I, 
automatically snapped back to ancient Egypt. And I was like, and I was like walking, like I was walking with like animals on my head. It was crazy. It was like, yeah, this is dope. <laughs> <laughs> I like, like yo, one yo one sniff and i was doing graffiti hieroglyphs in the pyramid i was like and then from there when it wore off i was just in brownsville i was like oh, <laughs> oh man swiper no swiping you know what i'm saying but that means you need another sniff. that's what you're saying i don't know i need a i need a half a gallon of that <laughs> What what, what what is what is what is, what is it? Uh. Look, look, this, look, she just turned it into a commercial. Let me let me um let me um let me um throw the theme song on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You ask what that is? Yes. I make a spray. It's a spiritual cleansing spray. Mm-hmm. But it can be used to cleanse your person, your space, anything that you need to cleanse. Nice. Nice. Yep. I'm going to need some of that. It's just a 599. No, I walk around with a bottle of let's, let's be real. That, is, that bottle is $20, but it lasts. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's right. True indeed. Stop yeah. playing. Yeah, listen, listen, when the folks start telling me to put stuff in the bottle, I'm putting it in the bottle. Oh, and it's doing what it's supposed to do, because I'm getting, you know, a lot of people are like, yo, where can I get this? Mm. I'm good for spritzing around somebody. It's let, just let alcohol, you, but I do it. Honey, listen, let me tell you, I was, my when I first started making it, I was still at work. Mm -hmm. I would walk in there early. And I'd be spraying up the whole locker room and Damn everything. Straight. All day. And they'd be like, oh, it's so nice in here. Yep. You just don't understand. Absolutely. Yeah, you man. You don't understand what happened yeah. before you got in here. You <laughs> <laughs> Listen, my old job, I used to walk in with the Florida water early. And then yeah. I would take my, my F phone and be marking up under people's chairs and stuff. I'm like, y'all gonna <laughs> have me going crazy in here. <laughs> Hey, hey. I would make sure y'all all straight before the day even starts. When I know it, yeah, exactly, Word. exactly. You're gonna be wondering why you skipping around in here. Yeah, I'm gonna help you out with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why are you handing man. me all your cash? You be like, what? right, exactly. I got the urge to give you all my money. What am I doing? Right, yeah. Don't and I have the urge to say thank you. Right, right. <laughs> right. Sure, dude. Yo, but um, all right, all right. So let me let me rock my song. Uh, so in terms of gratitude, oh, right now I am uh, I'm super duper grateful. I just looked at it. It's been it's going on nine months uh since I was able to leave my gig. Mm. And um, <clears throat> and so like, I'm just super duper grateful for like the uh, the clientele that I have right now, the the reception that I've been getting, and like the confirmations from you know from my from myself, from Orisha, from other people. You know what I'm saying from every every corner of life right now, the confirmation is letting me know like yo. Not only did you make the right decision, but you took the you took the ceiling off of your life and you are able, you got full capability to take it as high as you ever imagined. And so mm. <clears throat> the biggest thing that I'm grateful for is the um the understanding that I've been getting that um when you you know set your dreams, when you pray. When you ask for something, you do not go to the ocean with a spoon. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Like, so like, like, yo, if you're gonna dream, if you're gonna ask, you gotta ask for everything. You gotta mm -hmm. dream big. Like, yo, nah, nah, yo, nah, I just I just want my business to be able to uh, you know, just you know, just pay the rent. You know, I'll be good mm -hmm. after that. It's like, nah, 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 nah. I need I need my business to be able to be able to pay the rent for a town. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just mm -hmm. it gotta be it gotta be outrageous. 
the requests that you're putting in because it's like, yo, you don't you don't go to God and be like, yo, yo, you got ten dollars? Like, nah, B, that's <laughs> that's not that's not how this works. You know what I'm saying? If you're gonna ask, you better ask. So, um, yeah, so just grateful for that understanding that um like <clears throat> not only is everything that we want fully attainable, but it really it's really not not too much more than like setting an intention and asking for it. You know what I'm saying and, and just realizing how how scared we be to even ask for the things that we want. So, you know, that's that's what I'm super duper grateful for that understanding. And we about to, you know, we know now we about to we taking it to the top. It's it's already we on the stairs right now. So, so with that, right, with that understanding, um, I Can need. You see what that says, Amari? What's that say? What does it say? Stag. Yeah, what does it say below it? Trust and thrive. Come on, G. Where did you just become, huh? Yo, how you be pulling this stuff up, B? Jeez, my freeze. Come on. Yo, yo, Maya, you, you muted, man. Come back to us, please. There we I go. just pulled a card asking for a message for the call for tonight. And that's the Come message that we got. Come on, son. <laughs> so wait, that's it. That's it. Trust and thrive? And thrive. Yeah. Can you show it again? Come on, show me the card. Come on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Trust and thrive, B. Oh, I snapped. Mm. I love it. Thank oh, you major. for that. That's major. Take a picture. We in I did it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, give thanks. Good luck. It. Good luck. It. Ah oh, man, yo. All right, so with that said, yo, Medro, take us into the mindset real quick, bro. All right, so yo, two, two quick things, right? One, like how Adia and Brandy was saying about, um, you know, like your morning regimen. So I'm just learning and being like, yo, I have to. I have to switch up my regimen because now we're in the, you know, we're in the fourth quarter of the year. We got a couple months left and I still, you know, I still got goals to accomplish. I still got stuff that I'm like, all right, we're moving into the fall next week, right? Summer, mm -hmm. so summer's ended. So this, so one important thing that I learned is that the transition from season to season is a very fertile time for us to plant our goals and to evaluate ourselves and stuff like that, right? So, um, because they say that, um, they say like, just even with a woman getting pregnant, right? Mm -hmm. You can't get pregnant every day of the, of the, of the month. There's certain days where she's most fertile. So during these transitions, like, you know, we know about the moon cycle, but also the solstice and the equinox. That's a very fertile time for us to come up and reprogram and make new schedules, create new habits and to okay. fast and to purify so that we can accomplish what we may, right? Like this, mm -hmm. it's a good time to make these orders with the universe. So next week, you know, I'm just throwing it out there to y'all. Like you got a couple of days to fast and clean yeah. up and like clean yeah. the house and yeah. wake up earlier and get into the new energy of the fall because it's like we don't want to be doing summertime things in the fall, right? We want to do fall things because the fall is the real, you know, the fall is about the harvest, right? And it's about mm -hmm. now reaping the benefits from the seeds we've been sowing from the rest of the year, right? So just started out there. That's so like that's on one level. On the second level, um, it's like, yo, thank you guys for saying what you just said, like grateful to be. Like when Brandy said, I'm grateful to be, you know, surviving a storm. Like sometimes in my mind, I get caught up in, you know, my standards and, and I, and I can totally skip like what's really happening in this moment. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, the fact, yo, there's like, this is a very intense pregnant moment. This is a big transition. And it's like, man, listen, we are, we're surviving and we're thriving and 
now we're, you know, we're betting on our ancestors. We're betting on our purpose and our life and all that other stuff because there's nothing else to do, right? Mm -hmm. This is the earliest thing we could do. So I just wanted to share this. Um, uh, I've been studying, you know, just the science of uh, the crisis, of a crisis and how to get through, right? Mm -hmm. So they say when you're in a crisis, right, of course, there's opportunity, extreme opportunity and extreme danger. Now, how to, I read this thing on how to get through a crisis is the first thing, one of the first things you have to do is you have to be able to, you know, deal with the reality of what you're dealing with, right? And confront different things that you need to confront, right? Mm -hmm. But then the second thing that I wanted to share with y'all that, that I feel is, feel is so important is you, we have to be able to give our lives meaning you we have to be able to give this crisis or this situation meaning so that we can like so that we can have the power and the mindset and the and the strength to overcome it because we have to still be motivated to go at it right and we still got to be motivated to get up every day and do what we do but we have to give life meaning and stop letting other people give us meaning right give mm -hmm. our lives meaning so it's like in this crisis, this crisis is nothing but an, a grand, I mean, depending on how you look at it, it's a grand opportunity. People are doing stuff that they never would have done on their own terms. But now you're being forced to like level up, be great, do the stuff that you've been lazy about because in a minute you might not have no choices. But in you doing that, now you have grown. And you have, and now you, and now you can take yourself to another level. So, you know, like the mindset is like, yo, really um, being able to give things uh, meaning on your terms and not just accepting what people are saying and planting is being like, not nah, like God has me here for a purpose. And like, yo, this is, this is, this is what, this is how I'm going to go at life right now. You know what I'm saying? Giving yourself, re-energizing your vision and being like, yo, this is what's important and this is how I'm rolling. This is how I'm riding, you know what I'm saying? So giving uh, these situations and these circumstances meaning on our terms so that we have the power to persevere. So that's John Medicine Cornelius signing off. Peace, love. <laughs> That was that was very powerful and I so needed to hear that. And like while you were saying that, like I was really thinking like how in the next 15, 20 years our children gonna be looking asking us, what did you do during 2020? Like what the F were you doing? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, you know, you know, so it's really going to be one of those situations where you know it's, it's make or break time, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's what it is. So we got, I mean, whew. yo, <laughs> but <clears throat> yo, that, that's crazy. Like, yo, how exciting is that? Like, the, how, I, look, how, how scary is that? That's crazy. It's mad scary. Say, my child like, how, be about 17. Yeah, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? But like, how exciting is that to be like, nah, yo, I'm, I'm witness. I'm like experiencing, I'm creating history. Like you are yeah. living through like history in a way that a lot of people haven't done for decades or centuries really yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. so you know to be like so you know the same way you ask your parents like oh man how was it in the 60s like how the, yeah the the king, stuff like, like that, right that. Mm -hmm. so it's like nah nah we in the middle we in the middle of that and we having conversations um we're making we're making the meaning for ourselves in these conversations, you know what I'm saying? To be like, and really directing our gaze. I, I was, uh, we was watching this one joint and they were saying, yo, if if I tell you, you know, a room full of people, if I tell you, yo, um, yo, look through this room and identify everything that's green in this room, right? Close your eyes and just like visualize all the green things in here, you know what I'm saying? And take a note, a tally of all of them and then open your eyes and then I ask you, all right, so cool. All right, so yeah, name all the brown stuff you saw. Mm -hmm. All you're gonna name is the green stuff because mm -hmm. I told you to focus on the green. Mm -hmm. And so you, you know, your, your mind focused only on what I just told you to. 
know what I'm saying? Instead of getting a whole picture of everything that's in yeah. here. So just understand that, you know, our gaze is being directed right now. Yeah. But in the midst of this crisis, we have the opportunity to be like, all right, boom, I see that green. But like, let's do this yellow and this brown stuff over here. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because, because the, the whole um... Yeah, yeah. So it's like, you know, it's it's a vast, crazy opportunity real quick. You know, Maya, what you going to say? Um, so I was watching this program the other day and the woman was talking about how this year has caused so many people to become entrepreneurs. Mm-hmm. Right? But also, you know, I do tarot, right? And mm-hmm. tarot, in tarot, the number five means change. Mm. And this year is a number five. <laughs> right? Yeah. And so, huh? Right. That's an interesting, yeah. Yes, this year is a number five, right? So think of this year and see if you can think of anybody anywhere in the world who was not affected or had to make some kind of change in their mm-hmm. life due to this situation. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. But the statistics that she mentioned, though, was that so many people in the in the U.S. alone, close to 12 million people, have left their jobs. Not got fired, mm. but left. Left. Yeah. And chose to become entrepreneurs. Ooh. I mean, oh. and this is like people of color. Most right. of them are all people of color. Yeah. But they were in high positions and, you know, all across the gamut. Right. Wow. But they, the one thing they all said was that the peace of mind that it brought them when they did the comparison, it was worth more to take that leap of faith than it was to stay stressed out in a situation mm-hmm. that was compounded by the pandemic. Yo. Mm-hmm. Yo. Which meant they were already stressed out. Right. But this just added to it. Yo, that, yo, you, you about to start having to make your own burgers at McDonald's now because nobody's going to be on the grill no more. Everybody tired of this. Right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Where the Go flip your own burgers. <laughs> Where the fuck? Oh my goodness. You know, but the flip side to that though is you have some people who will leave a high paying job to do the burgers only because they've like, I don't have to think about anything. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo. And that's I can get real. benefits. That's yeah. real. That's real. <laughs> I can still but, get benefits. You know what I mean? No, like, black folks just... don't play with germs, though. Huh? We don't play with germs. All you got to say is germs. We like, nah, nah, nah. Well, I cannot work from home. Well, they just trying to look. They trying to flip burgers from home somehow. Like, how you work at McDonald's remote? <laughs> listen, I, listen, I bet you if this pandemic lasts more than a year, they going to find some way. Listen, okay? We don't play with no germs now. Yeah. You know, in my, in my heart of hearts, I really kind of think that this time is for us and, yeah. you know, and our people, like, this yeah. is really a time that we're going to, we have to rise. And it's yeah. really interesting how, you know, COVID and I don't, I'm not trying to switch it up, but in crypto and like the whole financial system is being changed and it's going to, it's, it's taking a hold. So it's like, what, what side of the coin are you looking at? Mm. You know, yeah. you're looking at at you know the death and destruction and or are you looking at the financial and you know what it can you know the uplifting part of it right you know, right, right. Yep. choosing to look on one side and right. versus the other people that's looking on the flip side like you gotta you know because it's the two major things situation. at the same exact time and that is mm. not a coincidence Yo, hey yo yeah. B that yo and that that's exactly what it is so that's like when we're talking about the the um yo focus tell me everything that you see that's brown in here it's like yeah. all right boom tell me like tell me about all the death the death and destruction that you see and why are you focusing on that el salvador just made bitcoin right. a, nas- a national <laughs> currency how about that you know what i'm saying <laughs> so yeah. so so it's like boom so this is like the perfect example to be like yo look yeah, go ahead. Focus on that stuff. We're going to be doing this over here. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's and- the beauty. That's what Meds was talking about when he was saying, like, it's, 
it's showing you who who everybody is very very clearly like clearer than ever like people who you you could bet you used to be able to bet money on who you thought they were you know what i'm saying mm. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and it's day. like whoa wait what oh, i gotta day. get away from you too dang it all right <laughs> Yeah. You know, like you just got back up, you gotta walk backwards, like, oh yeah, no, you know, no, I hear you. Yeah, no. All right. You know, mm. all right. You know what I'm so, saying? Like me, I, I can't. And so yeah. that's the beauty. Like you have to, like he said, it's not them. It's you. Mm. Once you see who you're dealing with and what everybody's actually focused on, you yeah. either fall in line or you fall back. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, like she said, it's two sides. I'm like, uh oh, okay. And I, yeah. not not on no, you know, disrespectful stuff, but for your sanity, for your health, yep. for your growth, yeah, you need to figure out what you about to focus on. What you, what are you focusing on? Yep. What's and, and and have you know you have to have compassion and understand you know, people do what they do for whatever reason, but right. get your get your reasoning, your commandments together. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just oh, like they making their choice, you make yours. What Absolutely. Absolutely, mm-hmm. dude. Absolutely. And yo, and so being that we tap toe, we tiptoed around the crypto space, uh, can we get a word from our resident crypto evangelist, Brandy B? You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> you need a B? Hallelujah! I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. I, I missed that last part. What did you say? Uh, yo, could, oh, can yeah. we get, can we get a, a, a quick, um, update on the on the crypto space. Wow, <laughs> uh, what's going on in crypto right now? It's a lot. Well, right now, um, you know the the whole case with the SEC the SEC is is heating up. A lot of it's being covered on the news right now, CNBC, um, and. It's really, I mean, this, I mean, this is prime time right now, right now. Mm. Like you really need to be in whatever your position is, you know, it's still time to continue to accumulate. This is the fourth quarter and traditionally crypto, this is when crypto really starts to pop off. So it's going Mm. to be, you know, really turbulent, you know, it's going up and down. Um, But this is still time to, you know, to get in accumulate and you know you really have to have the stomach for this for this um this this space and industry because it's like it, it's it fluctuates a lot um uh, one of the cryptos that i um actually really really liked um just recently popped off and i was like wow you know i'm in this xyo and <sighs> um one of those those cryptos that you know um, one of the YouTubers that I follow, he just made all the connections about, um, you know, what companies they're affiliated with. Um, um, and, um, I don't know, Google and Remax, just a lot of the different ones. So basically this crypto, um, it, it's, it follows you from wherever, let's, when you, when you um, have a package, uh, mm-hmm. basically what it does is it, from the, from the time you order it, wherever it's located, it tracks it all the way till it's to your door. And mm-hmm. then that's basically when you pay for it. So again, you know, oh, what's wow. it, I'm re- investing in crypto right now is like, again, we're investing in the technology of the future because everything is changing. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we're just like, what, whatever's going on right now is about to be upgraded, done over. So this whole crypto space is really about the new technology that's about to take place that hasn't fully gone live. Um, Hmm. so, um, um, so yeah, it's just a really exciting time. And so, yeah, I've watched it go from like half a penny all the way up to five cents, six cents. I still didn't, you know, like do anything with it, but, you know, you really do see how your money can, you know, increase and grow and, you know, do some amazing things. And this is only the beginning. So it's still, you know, again, good time to get in. Where the mother? Uh, yo, 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 that y'all felt. I felt like I was the host on like a CNBC show. Ooh, listen, like, I was yes. gonna say this sound like my favorite new news program. I know, right? I know. Yo, we, <laughs> we got some analysis. Like we got some analysis that. from Brandy Ellis. She's gonna, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. so, like so the I, weather, the Bitcoin weather, the, the, the weather. <laughs> I yo, love it. Me. 
Now, so look, right? So look, yo, what, so what she just said is so ill because um, in terms of volatility, when we're talking about volatility in the market, it does take a, it does take a, a strong stomach. But <clears throat> when we look at this space, this crypto space, if you look at really any coin on this market, if you look right here, look, boom, you look at Bitcoin. If you look at the daily joint, you know you're gonna get sick because it goes from 47 up to 48,000 down to 46, whatever. But any coin that you look at on this market, if you look at the year chart, with the exception of Bitcoin, Bitcoin yeah. but no, 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 including Bitcoin. When you look at the year's chart and look at the annual percentage in a year's time, it's going up 334%. 334 percent right mm -hmm. then if you i mean and that's like with any coin any coin that you look at and you go to the year's chart all of them have this crazy amount of increase on the annual tip so ethereum 809 percent right <clears throat> and then you could just get you know you can get super wild with it just go as low as you want to you know what i'm saying the cheapest coin that you could possibly find um let me see where we at. Let me just pick random, right? Boom. I got a question, but when you're done, go ahead. I bet. So Stella Looms, 33 cents, right? Mm -hmm. Year's time, 307%, right? And mm -hmm. so the important thing behind that is, <clears throat> um, and yo, damn, I'm gonna get your question in a second. Mm -hmm. But the important thing behind that is like when we deal with the the rule of 72, like we went in on before, right? Mm -hmm. When we talking about interest rates the amount of interest that you know certain investments pay so if you're talking about uh four percent four percent is super duper high like when you're talking about banks banks mm -hmm. is paying you point zero zero five percent annually mm -hmm. right four percent that's a great number and at four percent if you got ten thousand at 29 by the time you're 65 that's 40 grand your bank, your bank is doing that same transaction. They take your money, they throw it into their investments, and they get in 12%. So that <clears throat> that ten thousand dollars at 29, by the time you're 65 for the bank, it will become six hundred and forty thousand dollars. The biggest thing to see right here is the rule of 72 says your money doubles every six years <clears throat> if if you got a 12% interest rate. But if you got a 300% interest rate, that means that your money is going to double like every month mm. or or every two weeks if you feel like it, right? I like those it, numbers. I'm, right? I'm, a, I'm in love with those numbers. I want to dance with those numbers. I want to sleep with it. Not in a nasty way. <laughs> I just want to be in a room with it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's all I want. So, but, so like, so when we talking about those numbers, yo, those percentages, are ridiculous and so for somebody to ever tell you like yo listen man that stuff is too risky no bro keeping your stuff in a bank is the biggest risk that you can ever take in your life and this is really this is really the safest bet moving into the future of finance because this is the future of finance so um so i just say that to say like everybody like you know Whenever you think about like, yo, all right, well, what coin should I pick? It don't matter. You know what I'm saying? You can get the Jordan 3s, you can get the Jordan 6s. They still Jordans and they still going to have the same effect. So it's like, yo, um, you know, definitely, you know, we just going we going to continue to build every time on like what's what's the movement right now? Um, like Brandy just said, XRP is still a wave and as soon as it gets out of this case, it's gonna go through the roof. And so whatever money you put into it is going to do these kind of numbers. This three, six, nine hundred percent. Like just know that it's gonna flip like that. So, you know, whether you feel like you have the stomach to do it or not, really doesn't matter because it's gonna move whether you want it, whether you moving with it or not. Mm -hmm. So um so yeah, yo, real quick, yo deal, what what you got to say? Okay. <laughs> Either to you or and or brandy or anybody else that may be able to answer it so i have remember i told you i had ethereum i have ethereum right uh -huh. i have some um ethereum 
I'm thinking I want to put some in it every week. What's a good amount to put in? Or do uh, I have to like what's give me that just so you know? a good Brandy, you want to answer that? Um yeah, it's just whatever you feel comfortable with the very most. I always say the very, not the least, but put yeah. the very most that you feel comfortable with. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, although I don't think that this is, you're, you'll lose, but they always say, you know, put the most that you're willing to lose, you know, but you're not okay. going to lose. I, 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 no, no, I'm no, but that made, that, that gave but me better guidelines. Yeah. Right, right. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, and then, are, are you are you are you only invested in Ethereum or are you diverse? Do you have other um, crypto? I, hold on. No, I think that's it. She said hold on. No, that's it. I I just got the like the my homegirl was was down with some stuff that didn't work out. I don't want to get into it, but okay. I ended up getting a, a Meta um MetaMask wallet. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, transfer it over do you have a coinbase account or are you just i i I got the app i just didn't do it i think um because the for the thing it was like i I got crypto.com i got coinbase and i got metamask and for that uh thing metamask was the best choice or whatever Mm. so but i have all three it's just a kind of like i really just i'm i'm the one that needs to know everything before i do certain things you know what i mean well, and I, I, I would recommend. Go ahead, honey. I'm listening. Ethereum is, is, cer- is certainly good. Um, my, I'm just personally, I, I don't really go for the the ones that's already like really high because Ethereum's over three thousand dollars. So you do have some like Cardano, um, XLM, uh, um, Algorand. Uh, which are all on Coinbase that are mm-hmm. really, really good picks. They're all top 10. Um, and there's like out like Algorand is a dollar. So, well, now it's $2. It just went from a dollar to $2, which is huge. Mm-hmm. Cardano just went up. Um, XLM is like right under XRP, you know, mm-hmm. and these are ones that you can really accumulate a lot. So like when you're doing Ethereum, um, so, you know, to get one Ethereum, you have to, you know, it's, it's $3,000, but you can get hundreds, thousands of XLM for 33 cents, you know, so that's mm-hmm. another way to look at it because when you, mm-hmm. when uh, it would take so much for Algo, I mean, for Ethereum to, for you to really make some money off it, unless you have, you know, a hundred Ethereum, you know, but if, mm-hmm. you know, depending on what your situation is, you know, you may own, you know, you'll be maybe working up to one Ethereum, Ethereum, maybe then two, then three, but you can get tons of the other ones. And that's what you want is really, you know, pin the right ones. And then also the quantity of it so well, you that, want yeah. that's what it is i need to back all the way up because the only reason i have ethereum is because omari told me to do it about five how how old is is i how old is aki now five yo that was five years ago yeah five years ago <laughs> okay i mean that's good that's true if you got it five <laughs> years ago you got money like i wish yeah. i was but now for me i'm just like it's just too expensive you know so yeah. um you know, you can diversify and, and maybe like you do, you know, again, 10, 20, $30 on XLM. Gotcha. You just, you know, just have it. Like you want to have, you know, the smaller, you know, price um, um, crypto as well as the bigger ones, you know, Bitcoin. And so are you putting in, are you putting into your, how many do you have? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> You look, whenever somebody asks something like that, I'm at everybody's laughing. I don't mind, laughing. I don't mind telling, but I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just, you know, I was really obsessed with, with crypto for, I mean, from the inset when I started in November and I listened to, I'm really obsessed with this. So I have over 20. I do need nice. to, but the ones that I really believe in Excel, XRP, XDC, which is four, 15 cent. And I started when it was four cent. Now it's like 15 cent. It Ooh. makes such a difference. Like when you get into these things, early. like, so if you, you know, get a thousand, 2000, 3000, 4000 XDC XLM, when it's 30 cent and it goes up to a dollar, like you're good. And yeah. then if it goes, 
dollar, but we're not, I'm not in this for a dollar. Like a lot of these people that's accumulating, we're not in it for a dollar. We're in it for, you know, when it comes $20, $30, a hundred dollars, you know, a thousand dollars, we're in it for that term. But if you have just bare minimum of a thousand of them, you can cash out, you know, slowly and just maybe do like, you know, cash out, 10% 10% of it and then hold the other ones and then cash mm. out when it hits $10 and then cash out 10% when it hits 20, 30. But this is long term, you know, um, um, stashing that we're doing. So, you know, um, you know, just also try to incorporate the ones that's really that that's cheap and you can just stack, mm. you know, five, 10 you years. You need your own show. <laughs> um, I got mad at the question. I no, should make sure. <laughs> No, yeah, yeah. I'm just, yeah, that's just my way of looking at it. You know, like I, I really have like, you know, going all in on these mm-hmm. and I really do believe in it. And I have diversified, like once I got really good with XRP, I'm very comfortable where I'm at with XRP. I'm really happy where I'm at with X, uh, XLM and XDC. I actually have more XDC, which is up there with XRP because it's cheaper. So you can get mm-hmm. so much more. You know, you so Coinbase primarily, you know what I mean? Should I switch, get off the MetaMask and do Coinbase as I'm, my? I'm not familiar with MetaMask and how it works. I like Coinbase because it is very easy to use. It's easy to um to to buy and also like when you're ready to cash out, it goes right into your um into your bank account. You know, so I deal primarily with um Coinbase, KuCoin, and Bitru. Um, I think I'm not sure if, if in New York you could get Bitru anymore. I was in right, I guess before they they made it um, exempt for um, New Yorkers to use it. So I'm still on um, Bitru, but you may be able to get it. Um, and Robinhood. So, but I do Robinhood for Dogecoin. Um, yeah. 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 Thank you for that. All you, what's happening is the more you talk, the more questions I have. So I'm gonna shut no, up. No, I no, down a bunch of stuff. Yes, and you can. Yes, yeah. I'll give you I don't want to bro the show. Yeah, I'll give you my information. <laughs> Call me, text me anytime. I'm so open. I just want everybody to get in and make this money because things is about to happen. Yeah, Long term stashing. I wrote that down too with yes. all caps. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, mom. Yo, so look. So this is so this is like this is one of the bases. Um, real quick, uh, yo, Matt, if you got a second, um, could you ask the question that you was uh, that you wanted to pose before? Gotcha, yo. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. 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 All right, yo. So everybody on the call right now, um, we just want you guys. First of all, thank you guys for. Thank you guys for sharing. Thank you guys for being here. And this is like crazy good. Um, question, question of the day, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, just say uh, you apply for a loan or a grant or something or somebody passed away or whatever. And you got um, $30,000 in this moment with everything that we've been learning, what would you do with it? So just take a minute to think about it. Just take a minute to think about it because, you know, like that's the science of us going out the loan, getting a grant, um, being able to, um, you know, a lot of people, a, a, a lot of entrepreneurs like, yo, a lot of people that quit their job, maybe they had some bread that they can start off with and invest in and, and stuff like that. But everybody think about that because one, Using crypto, we can actually make that type of money, right? If we actually focused up. But then it, the question is, it's not about getting it, making it. It's about what would we do if we got large sums of money, right? Like, would we be like rappers and just <laughs> no. buy, you know what I'm saying? Some cars and clothes no. right? and fancy things that we no. always do. No. But like, y'all made no. You sell drugs to the black in community. The community. <laughs> right, right, right. It's like it's like yo, like would we like what would we do with it based on our all of our conversations and stuff like that? Because it's like that's really what this time is about. It's about manifesting 
yo, like, yo, when you can manifest these, like, nice pieces of um, money and capital, then you got to be ready to do something with it. So, so, so I'll, I'll, I'll start it off. I'll start okay. it off. If I had 30000 um, I would take a portion and I would definitely go... Uh, Can I stop you right there? Let me stop you right there before you go any further, right? Okay. If we talk about manifesting, you can't talk about if. Ooh. When? When? Thank when? you. When? Thank you, Mama. Thank you. <laughs> I don't You're want to no, no. can, 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 can you just spray me virtually, please? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> like, uh, like, it's on, like, if I had just spray right now, <laughs> yo, I, yo, I would, I would spray myself like it was activator. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, all all the way around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get you sucker. You know? Listen, I need a pump for every time somebody starts talking. Just spritz. That that goes <laughs> that goes to meds. When it's my turn, go to me. Come you know on now, come and on. So spray myself for every time. How about that? There yes. Go. Look, on, mark, mark my chair. It. We need it. So yes, not not if, but when. Cool. When I mean, so the first thing I mean, just just off the head, a couple of things I would do is one, I would go, I would I would call Brandy immediately and be like, Brandy, <laughs> I got eight thousand dollars and I want. Right, I would immediately call Brandy and be like, Brandy, help me, right? <laughs> so like, so I right, look, so one. Say, say I would put like, I would, I would probably just say I'll make like eight, eight thousand dollars. I would invest. I would, I would, I would huddle up with the right people, and I would see how to like where to put my money in the crypto space. Just say one, two. Maybe I would like, I would like look in to um, teaming up with somebody like Mari. Like yo, Mario, yo, yo, listen, I got, I got. I got 10, you got 10, let's cop some property. You know what I'm saying? Um, mm. Which which would leave me with like, say 12 left. Then from there, I would invest in, oh, oh. Then another thing I would do is I would look at my debt, right? And I would, and I would, and I would clear everything that was going to move my credit up. You know what I'm saying? I would, I would, I would, cause I'm, I don't have much crazy debt, but like I would set up payments, I would clear debt, so that my credit could go up and stuff like that. And then I would just put the rest in my, you know, put the rest into my business, my uh, DJ and business and my music business and all the other things that I was doing, you know what I'm saying? But I would just straight up invest in myself. You know what I'm saying? So I'll pass it along. Mm. So I will say for me, I already know, but I don't think like 30,000 is good, but I think, you know, I'm manifesting on, on a big level. Like we started off early saying, you don't ask God for $10. Mm. 30000 ain't $10. But if I'm going to be asking, I'm going to be asking big. Sure indeed. Sure right? indeed. But like, we were in the car today and we were driving through Long Island. We were looking at the homes. And my nephew at seven years old was like, I can't have a house like this. I turned around. I said, you absolutely can't. Mm. And the one thing we're going to start right now is claiming that you can and not starting off saying we can't afford. Mm. We right. are stopping this cycle right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Right? Mm -hmm. Because if I am working at manifesting and I am doing this, I'm not doing this so that my nieces and nephews are walking around talking about, oh, I can't afford. No, we're going to all be learning how to do this correctly. Oh, indeed. That's right. That's so for me, is. with the monies that I am going to have, mm -hmm. oh, the so. money that's there that I just have not gotten in my bank account yet, because I'm claiming it's already there. Sure, indeed. But Listen, my goal hey. is to have half of whatever it is that comes in the first time, half of it will be invested off the top. Mm -hmm. The other half, yes, I will take care of debts. No, I don't have debts. I'm sorry. Take care of paying off what, you know, of the little bills I have. Take care of whatever bills my mother may have um, and build it on my assets. Hmm. Accumulating assets. Indeed. Wow. 
Come on, son. Come on. Be in there. You know, making sure that my nieces and nephews have accounts that are accumulating, not just sitting there, you know, accruing two cents. Mm. So, you know, my investments for myself would be half, but the other portion I would be investing for the future, for my my legacy, which is my nieces and nephews and godchildren. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Come on, son. Talk about it. Yeah. I'm not just talking about it. I am doing it. Right I don't plan on going back to working for nobody. Mm. Yeah. Talk that talk, Mama. Talk that talk. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, when I make my first cash out of thirty thousand plus, and I'm waiting for hundred thousand plus, I can't mm. wait for that. Um, my first Say thing that, is girl. To Say that. <laughs> is to um, to pay off my debt. I do have, you know, my credit card debt. I, I need that paid off. And the next thing is to, you know, one of the things, and I'll share this with you. One of the things that I pray for is I can't wait to buy my house outright. You know, mm. or I just I just want to have buy my home outright. I want to move where I want to move to where I want to be and I want it to just be paid off. So Randy, um, right. Randy I'm sorry, can I can yeah. I stop you too? I'm real big on the language that we speak. Okay. So don't say I can't wait. I am excited that my house is paid off. Mm. Claim that it's already done. That's right. Mine's gonna be perfect. I'm yeah. taking all these notes. <laughs> 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 Yo, you <laughs> oh, man. Ahead, Brandy, sorry, man. Oh, man. Right. All right, so uh dear did, did you finish writing it down? No, I thought Brandy was still talking. Oh, oh, okay. Said she I, I'm sorry, I was interrupted by it, but yeah, so yeah, so I guess just you know to pay off my um my 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 credit card debt and to to just move into my new home. Mm. That's what I'm mostly excited about. So yeah, I just I can't wait for it. I see it, I feel it, and it's gonna happen. Mm. So sure indeed, babe. come on, come on. All right, oh. Um, all right, yo, dear, what up? What up? Talk to me real quick. Let me say 30. 30, yeah. 30,000 would go to paying off certain debts, uh, a vehicle, mm -hmm. and uh, paying off certain debts, a vehicle, funding for my inventions and prototypes and things. Mm -hmm. And um, what does that leave? I guess I would be calling Brandy. <laughs> As we all would be. Yeah. That's, that's how that works. Absolutely. And um, yeah, that's about it. I need, I need, um, I need to get, I need to get some of my, like, some of my, my creative visions into like you know to into full full production and mm -hmm. i'm coming to find out that it's costly so that would go to that and um yeah i guess uh pilot lessons i'm gonna get up out of here <laughs> <laughs> listen i'm gonna need jet because i definitely have a plane that i've been looking at so Ooh. yeah this out of here, you hear me? Yeah, absolutely, right. absolutely. Yeah, no, come on. No son. test necessary. No cold. No sticking nothing up my nose. I'm, I'm out. I, sure. I love it. Yeah. Hey, a thousand times, baby. Hey, can y'all can y'all hear this? What? Oh, you can't hear it. Yeah, no, yeah. Hey, it's slurping. Yeah. <laughs> That's a spray. 
<laughs> that was. Yeah, it was so you Pray yourself. Pray yourself, fool. Yeah. Pray yourself. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yo, Thank me. you, Mama. Yo. Um. All right. Boom. If I get <clears throat> when I get thirty G's. Um. So yeah, ten thousand of that is automatically going into a crypto. Um. And I don't even know how I'm gonna break it up, but I know that uh, if I put 30 G's in, if these joints, I mean, if I put 10 G's in, if these joints like Algorand right now is moving at a 400%, 500% rate, then that means that my my 10,000 in a year's time is gonna turn into uh, about 660. Um, and, and if you just do the math, that 10,000 will probably yield me, uh, you know, will push me into the high hundreds of thousands in a 10 year span. And I'm just going to continue to let it sit because it's going to continue to accumulate. And that's going to be a million dollar vessel created from that 10. Then I'm putting, I'm putting 10 directly into my business, you know what I'm saying, all your enterprises, you know what I mean, the one-stop shop for financial services, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> come on, come on, um, come to this break, come to this break, <laughs> no. No. so, um, so yeah, so, and <clears throat> putting it into the business, because just having that mix, having the passive passive income through the assets buying something that's going to move on its own um having that mixed with the active income that's going to like actually like through you know my labor or the progression of the business will multiply way faster than the investment would you know what i'm saying and more consistent than the investment would um and then you know taking that other third and you know knocking out whatever debt is in existence but I don't want to knock out no debt by itself, right? I want to be able to spread it out so that all these things are moving at the same time. And then once that debt is knocked out, whatever money I put towards that debt, now that's going to be coming back over to the the passive investment side and the active investment in the business. All of that is going to happen. We're going to have mad bolts. We're going to eat good food, you know, all the good stuff. And it's just gonna be crazy, you know what I'm saying? So that's how we do it. And and I got mad spray on me. My my face is wet. I'm drenched right now. It's raining in my house. Thank you, Mike. You know what I'm saying? Come on, mad look, spray. So, on. Look, and you get your beard back, and you can keep it on. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 marinate. Yo, so look, so look, um, so before before we bounce, um, I just want to tap in real quick. Um, from my plan, right, from my understanding of how to fire your job, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so first and foremost, we deal with the cash flow quadrant. You got employees up here who give their money for time. I mean, they time for money. You got the self-employed who, um, you know, doesn't have a boss, but they still are tied into the concept that if I don't work, I don't eat, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but then you move over to the right side of the quadrant where you got business owners and you got investors. So business owners, if you have a business where you do all the work, that's not really a business yet. you self-employed. You have to have leverage. You have to have people working on your behalf mm -hmm. um, while you sleep, while you're doing whatever. Um, but your hands can't be the only ones in the pot for you to have a business, right? So moving over to the business owner side. Uh, where, you know, you got employees that you've never even seen before um, and <clears throat> and moving uh, lastly into the investor side where now you fund businesses so that they can run, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, and you just get a kickback off of their profits as, as they grow, you grow, right? And so mm -hmm. to have, to move over to this right side of the cash flow quadrant is what, um, is what all of this is about. This is really what we're trying to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, because when we're talking about firing a job, right? Um, <clears throat> first, having a, 
understanding of that cash flow quadrant, right? And just having that deeply entrenched in your mind. But in terms of steps, right? We're talking about LLC creation, right? And this is mm -hmm. amazing. This is amazing because the majority on us on this call right now have LLCs or some kind of business entity, right? And that is that as I said before, at this point at this moment in time, like having a business is one of the most important things that you can do because uh you create your own you create your own destiny, right? In, mm -hmm. in this day and age where you could be X'd out quick, fast, you know what I'm saying? With no explanation, uh, oh, you don't got that vaccine, you're out of here, whatever. Mm -hmm. Having having a vehicle in place that you control and that you can make zero dollars or you can make a million dollars in a day, you know what I'm saying? Depending on the work that you're putting in and the things that you, structures that you set up. So <clears throat> we get in the LLC, so that we can move into this world of business credit, right? Business credit is so important because you can take the debt that you have from your personal side and you can put it on your business side mm -hmm. and air out your personal, drive that all the way up to 800 and then use that personal credit um, as now as an income gaining tool, you know what I'm saying? And not as a hindrance, right? So moving into the business credit side so that we have money to fund our ideas um, you also want to have six months of expenses covered, right? And so whether that's six months of expenses from your own tangible money or six months of available capital from other people with, you know, which comes through loans, which comes through credit cards, whatever, but just access, access to capital so that you could bust these moves for your business and turn that money um, that you make there into the multitudes of money that you got coming to you. Um, we also want to make sure if you still are on your job that you have your W-4s filled out correctly so you're paying the right amount of taxes, right? So that you can get the correct amount of tax money back so that that could be your loan. That could be your credit card. That could be the money that you're using to fund your business, right? Mm -hmm. Because because essentially we just want to have the capital by time for us while we're building and developing this business that we're working on, right? Um, and then we also want to tap into the world of grants, like I said, cards, credit cards, loans. Um, a lot of people are scared to get loans, but I say if you have a plan and you actively want to use this money to make other money, then a loan makes all the sense in the world. If you get in this loan and you're just trying to figure out why you're sitting on it, then that mm. might that might not be the best thing. But if you got a plan in place and you're ready to act, credit cards, loans is the movement. So, um, so yeah. So when we're talking about firing our job, the reason why we don't leave our jobs is because we don't think that we could do something else, or we don't think that we will be able to survive if we cut off this income stream. But once we step into the world of business funding and capital generation to be like, yo, look, people will give you $100,000 and a little bit of time for you to develop your business. So if we moving on that, um, then it's like one, the earning potential and the, the, the possibilities that come from that is endless and they are far greater than anything that you can do on a job. We give thanks for these gigs, you know what I'm saying? Because they sustain us. But if we got a gig and we're not trying to build our own joint simultaneously so we can get off that gig, then we 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 kind of missing the point. You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> uh, so yeah, yeah. So that is how to fire your job. Um, the only other way that I really know to fire your job is to burn a building down. But I'm not I'm not saying that because, you know, I'll be putting these on YouTube and I, I don't want that kind of I want that kind of attention. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not into that. So so don't do that. Just do the other thing that we were talking about. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Any, any questions, comments? You said so don't. Let me stop. Go ahead and listen. Right, no, right, 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 right. Well, you could. I believe you can get away with that. 
<laughs> you got these big cheeks and people just love it. So they'll you know they'll let you go. But um but the rest of us we 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 gonna chat. Right on. But um yeah, yeah. So uh so I right, boom. So before we get into the uh one word to wrap up an amazing session. Yo, look, I, I really wanna I really wanna give thanks for all of y'all, right? Um because uh I was always told that revolution is never created by a million people. It's always by like a room of like four people. That's nice. You know what I'm saying? So like so to um you know, I just give thanks for being able to be in a space with y'all, man, and get the ideas and the, the understandings that y'all that we was all putting together, you know what I'm saying, into this into this, you know, succulent pot, you know what I'm saying? This, <laughs> this marvelous, flavorful, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come, Come on, we got, the we got sprays and tarot cards, V. Who messing with that? Nobody got Listen, that. That's crazy. Everybody put your face to the phone. <laughs> Everybody you got a hurt, you got a hurt elbow. Put that to the phone. Yeah, John, come closer. Get, get some of that. Yo, John, you too far, B. Put your fast, get put your fast to the phone. <laughs> All right, there we go, there we go. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Come Bring on, your fans. Word up, B. Word up. So um, no, I was actually it's crazy because I was listening to something this morning that was talking about confusing what you're doing to make your your you know your money with what you're doing to build your empire right mm. it's not the same thing so um mm. the brother was talking about hating his job and this this and that not having the same passion for what you know he really wants to do because he doesn't have time to and so it was pretty much just saying like you're category, categorizing everything wrong. You know what I mean? Because it's like, you know, the world we live in requires you to have those dollars right for right now. So mm. appreciate what you're doing, but enjoy the part that is helping you build your empire and, and don't look at it like it's going to make you money because the money's coming, right? Mm. And so if you separate the two and use one as a tool and use the other for pleasure. Sure indeed. Is going to reap the it's going to reap rewards, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, does that make like sense? What you were saying earlier about the perspective. Say it again. I said it's also like what you were saying earlier about the perspective. Yeah. If your perspective is coming from I don't have and you know I don't have time, I don't have the money, I don't have this, I don't have that, then you're gonna keep not having. Absolutely. But if your perspective is all right, so my time is limited, but. If I do this and this and this and this with my time, I can see where I benefit and I can do more and I can do make more happen in this little bit of time. Mm. Absolutely. And then the other thing off of that, right, is having the is building the proper perspective to even manifest from in the first place. That's right. Right. Because the first part is the to to know for a fact that that you have it, that you're worth having it, that you're here to have Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And mm -hmm. so if you're, if you're manifesting from a, a, a place of not having it, it's not coming and you're wondering why it's not happening. It's, 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 it's not magic. It's already set. And if you don't believe right. it, then yeah, it ain't coming. Right. Yeah. And if you believe you got to get over there, that means you really don't know how it works because it's, it's already done. Say you that. Be, when you, when you, when you, when you say you're ready to receive, receiving means it's coming to you. And no, so it's like, I'm ready no, no, to no, receive, no, no. but how come I'm receiving, not there yet? It's like, there's no, nowhere to receiving go. Receiving means it's already there and you have your hands ready for it. Right, to come to you. There's, you don't have to go anywhere, exactly. You have to be what? where you're supposed to be. Hmm. Yeah. Hey, John, yeah. do me a right favor. On. I mean, sorry, Marvy. Yeah. Do me a favor. That um that thing I sent you, I text you, could you share that with the group for me, please? Oh, word. Nice. I was waiting. Yeah. Does it have right. some spritz on it? Uh, yeah, my no, phone is wet. You can, when you get it, you can say it and spray yourself. Say yeah. it and spray it. Yes. Yes, girl, say that. Say Not spray. don't spray it, but say it and spray it. Yo, I all, right. <clears throat> all right, boom. So we got the prayer for prosperity. Divine prosperity is my birthright. I shall mm. not want. 
I am a king's kid, born to inherit the kingdom of all that is good. All that is health, wealth, love, peace, and joy has been divinely ordained as a function of all that I am. The Father gives me breath that I may live and move and have my being in his perfecting presence. My Father is not limited. I am not limited. I shall not be limited. The, the mother fills the earth with the bountiful presence of everything that I could ever need. My mother is not limited. I am not limited. I shall not be limited. I shall not want for any good thing. I shall not be denied any good thing. Unexpected doors now open. Invisible channels are now free. Divine abundance and prosperity flow to me unhindered with God's presence, grace. God's perfect grace in perfect ways. I now live in the, the sacred place of the Most High, where there is an unlimited supply of bountiful resources and abundant treasures. I shall not want. I shall not want. I shall not want. Lack, get back. Debt, do not fret. Disease, not for me. <laughs> I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am wise, I am free, I am worthy, I am deserving. Yeah. I am whole, I am divine, I am loving, loved and lovable, child of a loving, giving, abundant source. I yes. shall not want. Yes. I acknowledge my good, I accept my good, I receive my good right here and right now. Life shall not deny me any good thing. I now forbid my mind, knock three times on the center of the forehead, pat, 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 to entertain any, any appearances of lack yes. or scarcity. Come on. Yes. I absolutely forbid That's this good. mind to yes. dignify nonsense. Yes. It makes no sense to deny my birthright. It is yes. the father's pleasure, the mother's yes. will, my father's pleasure, my mother's joy, that I yes. shall inherit the kingdom of good. God is good. I accept yes. good. I, I accept goodness. I now lay claim to the kingdom in the pit of my soul. I shall not want, I shall not want, I shall not want. Let it be so, and so it is. And so Thank it you, is. Father. Thank you, Mother. Thank you, Spirit. Bow. Come on, Ooh, son. Come pray. on now. <laughs> pray it, Sister Spirit. Come on, oh. baby. Yo. Yes. <laughs> can, I, can I point out something real quick? Real quick. Why why do black morning, people please. love why do black people love when things rhyme? Doesn't it make you feel good? <laughs> it's holy, B. That's holy. It's holy. You I'm serious. Like when things start rhyming, it gets it, it I get giddy inside my spirit. I don't know what it is. It's true. We all B. do though. Watch any oh. watch any speech where we get hype. <laughs> when ninjas stop, start rhyming. Stop. But look at the pastor in church. Right. All day. Anybody, right. pick anyone. Yes. Right. Yes. You yo, yo, it, also, you start it also resonates with you. It it yes. resonates because it makes you want to try and guess what the next word is or what they're gonna say. It mm. also mm. taps you on something. It. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It feels like music. I love yep. it. I love it. Yeah. That's real good. I love Ooh. it. Yo. Ooh. Thank yo. Listen, you. man. This is yo. This is. It's a sacred space, man. Thanks for bringing the secret sauce in, y'all, for real. Mm -hmm. yes. The revolution will be on Zoom. Is that televised? <laughs> Does that count as being televised? Uh, nah, I don't know. So we'll figure that out. Are we breaking the rules? I'm sorry. Sorry, Gil. <laughs> <laughs> yo, listen, man. So, yo, look. Before before we wrap up, we're going to wrap up the same way we always do. You know what I'm saying? With seven Harambe's. No, I'm joking. So look, we're doing, one, we're, doing, <laughs> we're doing one word. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So look, man, we need one word to, to encapsulate this experience that we've just that we've just shared. Dude. This is a this is an amazing, this is an amazing space. And I'm I'm hype. I'm hype. I give thanks for y'all y'all being here. So I I I'll pop it off. So um so the word the word Yo, man, what's that word you was telling me that Bonner was telling you about? The, um, he said the, uh, you know, the joint with like that preachers do. 
that happens in church. Oh, cathar- catharsism. Catharsis. 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 Right. Um, because I, I find that I find that in this space, I give thanks for this space and the catharsis that we are able to create. Um, and the synergy, the synergy that comes from like just two of us rocking and then three and then four and then five. And whether it's five or five thousand, the energy that um, that I find in this space and that I'm able to move with when I leave this space um, is is priceless. You know what I'm saying? So um, I give thanks for the 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 catharsis. Uh, the Catholicism. The Catholicism, whatever. Oh, that we, I'm telling that you the word now, babe. <laughs> it's the ism of cathartic, babe. Okay. Oh, catharsis, catharsism. Catharticism. Yeah. Nice. Catharticism. Catharticism. There you nice. go. Yo, yes. And I give thanks for all that. You know what I'm saying? I give thanks for y'all. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, um, and we rock it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Praise God for Catholicism all day. Who's next? Right on. So I wanted to, I, I got two words. Well, a number and a word. My number is five. Yeah. And mm-hmm. it's no coincidence that there are five of us on this call. Oh, don't do that to me. Don't do that to me right now. <laughs> Come on. Did you make that happen? Did you did you tell did you text everybody else and tell she them not to call? Everybody, she shut everybody else out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no new friends. <laughs> <laughs> and just but you know what what I was saying earlier about the number five minute change, right? That's mm. what we're here to do. We are here to make those necessary changes in our lives. Mm. Mm. We are about that change. We're not here to just sit here and talk about it. We are here to do the things that need to do be done to implement those changes. Mm. So, you know, it's no mistake that we're doing this. The five. Anybody mm. else that comes in, all good. But mm. right now here today, the five of us are making a point. We're making a commitment. We are making a stance mm. oh. to make a change. And the number five being about change. But my other mm. word, my word actually is wealth. Mm. Because we're building wealth. We're talking about, you know, we are all about wealth. We are sharing wealth just in the conversations that we're having sure the indeed. information that we're sharing is wealth sure indeed. you know yeah we're not preparing for wealth we're remembering that we are wealthy mm-hmm. nice. Nice. We're to be reminded of who we are and where we came from mm. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. east new york baby Everybody is on fire tonight, I tell you. I'm telling you. So you see what I mean? Come on, B. So, I'm going to spread myself on, on that one, okay? Spray, spray, spray. That's crazy. Oh. That, that's what I got. Five and well. I, I got mm. you, John. Right on. <laughs> get, get it on you. Oh, man. Yo, any anybody, come on, talk to me. Jeez, please. How do we do I'm this? To think. Okay, I think. Okay, I'm I'm ready. I think. I believe. Okay, so dang. There's so many words. Okay, so I want to say two words in one. Consistent movement. Three. Yes. Consistent forward movement. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Um the consistency being you know turning you know creating those good habits right replacing things with those good habits and being consistent and the movement is the change and the growth that comes from it um which is you know us being on this call going through stuff and having to postpone and still making sure that we do you know show up Mm -hmm. and um and absorb and never knowing what it's going to thinking you know what it's going to be but never really knowing how dope and how much, how necessary. Wow, you know wow. what I'm saying? Um, wow. Because, you know, it's the end of the day. You see what I'm saying? Sure and, and it's like, just tap in. Mm. 
Tap in. You think you're going to leave the uh, Zoom on and go do stuff, but then you end up sitting still because somebody done dropped 35 spritzes on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you ain't know you was about to get washed. You know what I'm saying? 36. 36. 36. <laughs> oh. And so it, it falls in line with every other consistent, you know, good uh, habit that I've created lately. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, so it just, it motivates you to do way more and um, having just, you know, being joyous, joyous through, throughout the, the journey of it all. You know mm. what I mean? Like, you know what you're worth, you know what, you know what's coming to you, but you're not waiting for it mm. because when you're waiting, you're not doing anything, mm. uh -huh. right? So if you're active while it's coming, it, it all becomes an experience. You know what I mean? It's like, ooh, you think you're having fun now? Wait till you get hit with, with, with your blessings or with your, with your abundance or with your- Yes, yes. You know what I mean? Mm. It's coming, but I'm still over here. I'm partying still. I'm not waiting for it to get here for me to party. I don't know mm. if I'm, I, I, done, I done said a couple different things in different directions, but that's what's happening in my brain right now. Word I'm up. excited. <laughs> that's all right. True I'm excited. Mm. So yeah, those are my 15 words. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alice, 16, Alice. Yeah, hey, 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 Alice. I got to say, here's your spray. Yo, V, come on. Thousand sprints out here, V. Spray it, sister. Oh man, yo, who, who we got? Who we got? Um, I'll go. Um, well, a few things. First, I want to say that I've been seeing five, five, five so much mm. that I've had to go on YouTube. Like, what is this? You know, look up the angel number. Like, yeah. and it does tell you that it's about you know change and going with the flow. You know, and just just. Ex accepting and receiving and all that mm. good stuff so that's awesome mm. Two, i want some of that spray so can you please let us know where we could get some of that spray yeah. we won't be needing that sure um, <laughs> and i can ship them out to you they 20 dollars for the bottle and it lasts for a good while the i want some i want some yeah. um one other thing before i get to my, uh, my my word is i follow this guy on youtube i don't know if anyone heard of him but he's awesome like amazing black guy his name is seven bomar and he said something the other day that i was listening to him he was like horizontal like he he's really big on words and the meaning and horizontal has horror in it and it's basically it's a horror to be just going you know like in a straight line either front or back like but you we were meant to go up vertical you know mm. so like when you're going horizontal it's like you're stuck you know mm. and it's that's that's where the horror is and, mm. you what know so we're meant to you know to go vertical <laughs> seven bomar um seven s-e-v-a-n uh b-o-m-a-r and he's oh, he's amazing like the stuff oh, that God. he teaches oof, God, he's like through the roof and i think his mother she's yoruba so he he just you just gotta look mm. him up and listen to him. He's really dope. Oh, word, word, um, so word. the word, that okay? I, yeah, understanding. Yes, he's amazing, amazing. Um, the word that I came up with is necessary. Like you know, tonight for me was very necessary to hear. You know, everyone's voices. You know to hear what you have to say and contribute and to keep, you know, adding just, and also reminding me, you know, what it is that I need to be, you know, doing, being more disciplined in the morning and just, you know, just, you know, mm. the number five and how secret that is, just all these things that, you know, we just have to kind of keep forefront, you know, sometimes you go and go and go and you forget, you know, so this kind of just kind of was very necessary for me to be here tonight so I can wake up in the morning, you know, and get a fresh start. And, uh, and uh, also all the things that we're doing now and every day is just necessary for our mm. future, you oh, know, indeed. for just everything. So yeah, this is all very, very necessary. That's all I came up with. You better use that one word right. He's like, I got another word. I'm like, no, necessary. That's the word. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That's crazy. And that's get crazy. your regimen popping for the morning, Brandy. Yes. I'm, I'm going to get to work on that for sure. Even if you just do two things every day and then it, it'll snowball into other dope stuff. Seriously. Yes. Even like something like washing, yes. just clean the kitchen every day. That was my first thing. Crazy. Mm. No, please. And don't don't be hard on yourself if you yes. miss a day. Absolutely. But just yeah, and get back on it. Mm -hmm. it. It takes yeah. about twenty one days to form a habit. Mm -hmm. Word up, babe. Eh? Uh. Nah, nah, nah. Major, major. Yo, man, what up? Take us home, brother. Uh, I, would say, <laughs> I would say, um, uh, hold on. I would say. Uh, frequency, frequency. Um, Cause you know, they say what you do frequently becomes your frequency. So I'm mm. very excited to, um, I'm excited to close out the summer. You know what I'm saying? I had a great summer season. I'm blessed up, you know what I'm saying? Like did a lot. So now I'm ready to like, I'm ready like to purify, mm -hmm. let the summer go reprogram and now get into the frequency of the fall get into the higher frequency of new habits and new practices mm. and um yeah like the frequency of manifesting so that i can um because like what i notice is that when i fast and i really like purify and i get strong internally then it's like it's like the the manifestation is like this mm. you know what i'm saying so it's like, that's what this, that's what this, like what you're going to see right now from this day to next week, you're going to see, watch, watch how many people get sick and like have colds and congestion because now your body is ready to cleanse. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Your body's ready to cleanse. So it's like, now if we get in and we tap in and then we take these practices, these thoughts and these frequencies into our vibration when we fast, now it's like, yo, we're getting ready. Now it's going to make manifestation quicker. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it's like, um, so mine's is frequency, frequency, frequency. What you do frequently becomes your frequency. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So if we talk about, if we talk about lack and scarcity and how the, we cannot just believe that white people are so evil then we'll be on that frequency, right? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But if we talk about the opportunities in this moment and like, yo, we make these incremental changes in our life every single day, like Dee and you guys were just saying, then it's like at the end of the year, we'll be able to look at what, like we, you know, we have built a new frequency for ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, yo, frequency. Yo, B. Super freak. <laughs> no, no, no. Super free. Yeah, listen, man. Listen, yo. Thank you. <laughs> give thanks. Give thanks for all y'all, man. Give thanks for this space. Give thanks for the uh, everything that was said, man. And, and yo, I, I, f I forgot which one of y'all said it because I be saying mad stuff. But um, <laughs> but you know the like the fact that whether or not we had an understanding of what we was coming here to do today. We came and did it bigger than we ever in, intended on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like, you know, whether we felt like being here or whatnot, like to step into this room, you know what I'm saying? With each other's energies, like, mm -hmm. I mean, it, it lifted me crazy. It got me vibrating mm -hmm. crazy. I'm ready to, I'm ready to bust some, well, I'm gonna go to sleep. But when I wake up, it's going down. Where's but when I wake up, Ooh, when but I wake up, it's going down. It's, you know it's going down. So, um, but yeah, yeah, like, yeah, man, just another blessed opportunity to uh to tap in with y'all, man, because this is, I mean, and yo, man, like anybody that step in this space, like, comes in with the same intention, the same purpose, the same kind of energy, and we are building. It's not a, it's not a, it's not a fantasy. Like we're Good building, thanks, we're building billion dollar structures, yeah. right? Because a, a company, a com every company, like when it's being sold is valued like 10 times higher than their revenue. So, <clears throat> um, because they like, yo, all right. So 
If I buy it now in 10 years, what's it going to be worth? And that's its real value. So the ideas that we're building on right now, you know, we're talking about thousand dollars of ideas and then those are going to turn into a hundred thousand ideas and million and it's going to turn into billion dollars worth of ideas and resources um just from our brain trust that we are developing right now so um i'm yo i'm just crazy excited to be on the, um the onset of that you know what i'm saying like to be at the ground level of that creation is crazy so <clears throat> um so yeah yeah like i said man thank y'all for being here um i really i really want to step to everybody you know what i'm saying like um you know we we're gonna reconvene another two weeks but in that time buy something buy something from the crypto space you know what i'm saying yeah, thanks yeah, Brandy, so mari, mari let's talk and yeah, yeah. Too, please so we can yeah. catch up on that because i don't know what it's looking like right now Okay. All right, nice. So let, let's wrap some more. I'm here. Dope, dope, dope. So yeah. yeah. So my yeah, everybody to um just touch base, you know, with some kind of coin. Um I, I definitely when I send out the video for this, I'm gonna send out a list of the coins that we was talking about tonight. Um, yeah, okay. And to. you know, just how to be able to get into them and all of that. But I definitely wanna come back to the space in two weeks with something that we bought at this time that in two weeks will change in value so that mm -hmm. we can so that we can compare with each other whether you buy one for like if it's two dollars right you buy mm -hmm. one coin of something that's two dollars and watch in two weeks that joint be at like at four you know what i'm saying and mm -hmm. so that we can just like incrementally because the more the more that we do it it just builds the muscle within us to uh to make it uh to make it habitual so um so yeah, yeah so you know so that's what we on you know what i'm saying peace love all the hair grease you know what i'm saying activator and all of that you know what i'm saying yeah. pro style my brother ja used to have the fly the fly curl <laughs> you need to see this you know what i'm saying it was a beautiful so thing the they used to go crazy head. over it i tried to emulate it but the fact <laughs> of the matter is you know what i'm saying i pray to you, you know what i'm saying keep all of your curls tight you know what i mean <laughs> Yes, yeah, Brit. Right. <laughs> Word up. <laughs> Yo, oh man. Hey, and look, and if you if you spray if you spray my ear spray in your hair, it's instant locks. You get instant yeah. locks. You waking up the next day with full blown dreadlocks. But um, so yo. Ooh. <laughs> yo. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yo, listen, That's that yo. That five C. Yo, but yo, mad love, mad love to y'all, man. Have a blessed night, and um, Absolutely. thank y'all, man. Well, thank y'all for rocking. You. Thank y'all. Yeah. yeah. Nice meeting y'all too. Everyone. Yes. Thank yeah. you. Good night. Right. Good night. Peace. Good night. Peace. Love you. Love you, mama. I love you.